Our Growth Point teaching today takes us to John chapter 8, verse number 44, and it reads as follows. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. This verse reminds us exactly who Satan is and what his plan is. We realize and we recognize that he is the father of of lies. And his plan is as follows. When he lies to us, he causes us to doubt God, to doubt God's word. What is Satan attempting to do? He is attempting to discourage us. So when he lies to us, may we not doubt but may we trust in the promises, the faithfulness, and the goodness of God. When Satan lies to us, he is trying to shock us. Many times we are not uh, anticipating his attack. And it may catch us off guard and we may become alarmed. And we may begin to think things like, well, I'm just not making progress, or what have I, have I done to, to deserve this? Why am I being attacked? We must be reminded that the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And he wants to shock us. He also, when he lies, he also comes at us with negative feelings. He tells us that, you know what, you don't deserve to be forgiven. You're not loved. But when the enemy comes at us with lies, we must come at him with the truth of God's word. May we attack the enemy as Jesus attacked the enemy. He attacked the enemy with the power of the Word of God. And that is why it is so important for us to study, to read, to memorize God's Word and use it as a powerful weapon to destroy Satan and to be an overcomer. Let's pray. As we see God, we understand what the enemy's plan is. He wants to cause doubt and shock and get us to uh, think about feelings and thoughts that, are, uh, that go against your word. Help us to use your word as a weapon so that we can be victorious. Help us to keep our eyes fixed and focused on you so that you will help us to be an overcomer. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.